Well, some of you know, or maybe you don't know, I come from a dysfunctional family. And I know everybody says that. But no, God has put people in my life to help me and support me. And the person that I admire the most would be my friend Gerald, who is like a second dad to me. He's the person that has been there for me the last 25 years. He's raised me, if that makes any sense, even though I was an adult when I met him. And so I would say I admire him. The reason why I admire him is he's always believed in me, loved me, no matter what. He's not a touchy-feely, never would tell you that he loves me, but we know that he does. And he's always just believed in me and supported me and been there for me. And he was just telling me the other day, he's like, you know, Sherry, no matter who you are, or what you do, the people that actually love you, love you no matter what. And that's why I really admire him, is just the belief that he's always had in me, and that's why I am who I am today. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's call on you, Abe. Okay. Uh, you have multiple siblings, so please come up and tell us what you think is good or bad about a larger family. Okay. brother and two younger sisters, so I'm like in the middle, I guess you could say. Uh, I think a family of four, four siblings total is uh, probably the ideal family, I would say. If you're a family of one or a sibling by itself, I think you, uh, it could go either way, I guess. The way I look at it is, it's, uh, you know, you kind of learn how to socialize with your fellow siblings at an early age, which gives you an advantage in life to uh, socialize out in public, whether it be school or business. So if you're an only child, I think that's kind of a a disadvantage, I would think, because you're kind of, you get to talk to your parents only, which doesn't teach you your, kind of at an early age, how to socialize with their peers at your same age. So, uh, when I, I don't have any family, I don't have any wife or any children on my own, but uh, when I start having a family, I definitely plan on, ideally, fours probably be a good amount, because you get a good mixture of, uh, within a one or two year time frame, because that way they all get experience to uh, socialize with each other, and that will help them advantage in life, and uh, so and so forth. So I think uh, a bigger family is good. If you have a too big of a family, like a family of over five or six or seven or eight, I think that could be uh, also a disadvantage because then it gets too chaotic. So I think four is ideal. So uh, that's about it. Sorry. Let's call on you. 
<laughs> no. You didn't make eye contact. No. Well, I actually was staring at her like that, and she picked on me. <laughs> <laughs> that was a perfect setup, and I didn't mind the disadvantage at all. So, uh, and uh, the, another disadvantage is most of the little tasks I had to do. You know, hey, you want to clean the floor? I would clean it. My brother would be standing in another room. He'd call me, hey, Rajiv, come here. Can you turn this uh, uh, light switch, please? Come on, uh, you can't get up and do it yourself. <laughs> so, but overall, it was really fun. Didn't really fight too much, but at the same time, I thought it was good. Thank you. How many of these did you want me to do today? Oh, okay. Nine. More. Any more? Some more? Toastmasters. I'm happy that we have family day here again. Another meeting with family day. And I'm trying to solve for time because I'm trying to get someone that's outside of my family who is a good family member or just like Sherry had mentioned, a friend who could be considered a mentor slash family person. So probably in the business world, that's somewhat easy, but that's a business direction. And I think we're trying to look at more of a personal direction. So who helps with your family? Well, I guess recently, I would say spiritually, I look for the creator above to be my personal member outside of my family that helps guide my direction as far as what what I do, how I do it, and helps guide my life. So probably that would be what I would say, because uh, without that, I think my direction may have probably got 
found some potholes that I need, you know, need additional help. So that would probably be my answer for today. Spiritually, that guides me, and that's my my personal. Opinion.